Now in this video, we're going to be talking about four different ways in which you can sanitize your wine bottles. We're going to be talking about boiling, we're going to be talking about baking, using bleach, and also no rinse sanitizers. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now before I get to it, I'd like to give a special shout out to Claudia Bell. Thank you very much for the donation. That will help out quite a bit for supplies for this channel. Also, if you're not a subscriber, this would be a good time to click on that subscribe button. Let me know that I'm appreciated that way. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you want to support me in that manner, please help me out there as well. Found that. Let's get to business. All right, so let's get right down to it. Now, the first thing you want to do, the very first thing you want to do, is that if your bottles have labels on them, okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove those labels because they're only going to get in the way. And once your labels have been removed, go ahead and fill up your sink with some warm, soapy water. And go ahead and get your wine bottles in there. I'll start with just these three. Go ahead and fill them up. You want to make sure that your bottles are clean, more so on the inside, but definitely since they're in there, you may as well do the outside as well. So go ahead and get your bottles clean. You don't want to see any, any solid particulate matter in there. You want to make sure your bottles are, are thoroughly clean. Now being clean and being sanitized are two different things. I mean, this is nice, but this is not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and and finish these other two up and rinse these out. And we're gonna move on to our first step, which is going to be boiling to sanitize your bottles. Now with boiling, we wanna go ahead and put our bottles in a nice good sized pot that will accommodate them all. And then we wanna go ahead and start filling up our bottles. If you've got a funnel, great. If you don't have a funnel, this works just as well. And once your bottles are filled, go ahead and start filling up your pot. Once you've got enough water in your pot where it's not going to boil over, the water in the bottles probably will, but that's okay. Once you've got enough water in your pot, let's just go ahead and turn our stove on to about medium. And we want to let that water come to a boil. Now when your water finally comes to a boil, we want to go ahead and let that boil for a good 10 minutes. All right, time's up. We can go ahead and turn off the stove and let our bottles come down to a nice comfortable room temperature. Go ahead and take them out, drain them, and they're ready to go. Now our next option is using the oven. In this case, we wanna make sure our bottles are in a middle rack and evenly spaced. I want to take our oven and I want to set the temperature for, let's make it 250 degrees. Well, oven's now preheated to 250 degrees. We want to go ahead and set our timer for a good 20 minutes. Oops, oh, oh, back up here. Time's up. 
Turn that off. We can turn the oven off. And we can let our bottles just come down to room temperature on their own inside the oven, at which point in time they are done. Now, if you're not planning on using your bottles right away, now that they've been properly sanitized, you can just make your little cap out of aluminum foil. And keep them covered until you're ready to use them. Now for this next one, we are going to be making a weak bleach solution. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your sink has been thoroughly cleaned out and cleaned. Following that, we're going to add one gallon of water to the sink. And what we need to now do is add one tablespoon of bleach. Now, before we do any of that, I'm going to recommend one, that you wear some form of eye protection, eyeglasses or goggles. Two, I'm going to recommend that you wear gloves. The reason for that is that using bleach can be dangerous. All right. And not only that, I want you to be safe. And not only that, I don't want to get sued. So take proper precautions to make sure that you don't hurt yourself while you're using bleach. All right, now that you've uh, taken steps to properly protect yourself, we're going to go ahead and add our bleach. Go ahead and give that a good little stir to make sure that our bleach is going to be fully incorporated. Let's put our cap back on. Nice and tight. And we'll put that away later. All right, to start this process, we want to go ahead and fully immerse our bottles. Definitely more on the inside than out, but let's do a good job. All right, we're going to let our bottles soak for at least 10 minutes. Periodically, we're going to come in and then we have a quick little, little rotation to make sure that Everything is fully coated in the bleach solution. And, and we'll see what this looks like 10 minutes later. All right, it's now been 10 minutes. It's now time to start the process of rinsing out these bottles. We want to rinse away all traces of the bleach. I'm using, well, eventually this will get hot, but I'm going to use hot water to rinse the bottles out. One less sniff test. Nope, no traces of bleach. These are done. And that, my friends, is how you sanitize your wine bottles using bleach. <laughs> okay. Now, the final thing I want to talk about is the use of no rinse sanitizers like Star Sands or One Step or several other products out there, which are designed basically to be very, very fast. You simply take your wine bottles, you simply immerse them, 
in the solution, you wait at least one minute. Sometimes you might wait several minutes depending on the product that you're using. And then when you're all said and done, you simply take them out, drain them, and you just simply let them air dry. And it's as simple as that. Now, of course, with all of these products, first thing I would suggest is that you read the directions first. I usually start by reading the first aid portion of the directions first, just in case something should go wrong. But again, make sure you follow the recommended uh, suggestions of usage by the manufacturer and you should have no problems. And of course, as always, make sure you're using the proper, proper safety precautions, eyeglasses, goggles, gloves, whatever, uh, to make sure that uh, you don't harm yourselves in using any product to sanitize your bottles.